Hey, shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makakudash. Double on us, our apostles, and others, I get me so and to the men and brethren doing this work in truth and in sincerity. I could see four cause by earth. But the Barah here with another quick lesson it says what? Well, basically, it's in the news, you know, from the Sputnik. You know, the US Air Force successfully test hypersonic missile. All right? Successfully test the high, their version of the hypersonic missile. It says the Pentagon has tasked defense contractors with the, so like the creation of half a dozen different hypersonic weapons system for the Army, Navy, and Air Force. But none are operational yet. The first U.S. hypersonic weapon, the long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, is set to be fielded by the Army in late 2023. Right, you know, you should they say ascribe greatness to Yahweh Shemirashai because, again, it's beautiful times that we live in, and the times of prophecies being fulfilled. When this kingdom, right, the end of this kingdom, as many of the prophets had inquired, has just been one. Right, when shall the end of the first and the beginning of the second be? Right, um, this kingdom will be the end of uh, the ending of this kingdom will be the end of Esau's rulership. Right, going back to Second Ezra chapter six, it speaks about. Esau being first and Jacob hand held the heel of Esau, which virtually which spiritually represented um the pulling down, the pulling down of the kingdom of Esau, the kingdom of wickedness, and the restoration of the kingdom of righteousness. Right? The house of David, the house of Shai's kingdom of heaven. Right? So what we're seeing here is uh, uh intensity in prophecy, right? Now the US Air Force which the U.S. in the scriptures, American scriptures, is, is, is known as Babylon the Great, right? So Babylon the Great, you see, here yeah, is it's, it's stepping up the game, right? They're stepping up the game. They get, they get it into the game, a matter of fact, right? It says the U.S. Air Force has carried out another successful test of the, of the Air Launch Rapid Response Weapon, ARRW, a boost glide vehicle-based weapon, system with 1600 kilometer range and a maximum flight speed of up to Mach 20. In a statement put out Monday, the Air Force indicated that the test held off the coast of Southern California on December 9th was the first launch of a full prototype operational missile. Right? It says previous test events focused, quote unquote, previous test events focused on proving the booster performance. Following the ARRW separation from the aircraft, it reached hypersonic speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, completed its flight path, and detonated in the terminal area. Indications show that all objectives were met by the Air Force said, right? So that was a quote on quote. But we know that these things happening, as we said, for what? The culmination of the great battle of Armageddon, as the scripture describes it, right? The world is going to destroy America, aka Babylon the Great. This is um, this is us now glorifying Yahweh because the, the 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 intelligence, the knowledge that um these nations have of building weapons, it was given to them by Yahweh and it was given for the destruction of this kingdom. It was given to the Edomites for the destruction of their own kingdom. Thus say the Lord, right? Isaiah fifty four and sixteen. Behold, I have created the smith. That blow it the coals in the fire, and that bring it forth the instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. The waster represents the ICBM missiles that they are now looking to have the technology to get this missile payload. Right? To get the missile payload because not one missile could have multiple warheads, so it could it, it could destroy multiple targets at the same time, right? So they're working on having that to be delivered in lightning and lightning speed for want of a better term, right? It says the Smith is what the scientists, right? The nuclear scientists, right? The Lord created them and now the we start to destroy the missiles. Okay? The Heavenly Father, Yahabashim Yahweh, I say what? Ascribe him greatness. He is the one who do it. Who's doing it? Yahabashim Yahweh. For the reason of what? Destroying this man's kingdom. He's going to destroy this man's kingdom 
by his own hands, right? Esau's kingdom is going to be destroyed by his own hands. As he, as he took back the most high, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai had prepared. This is um, Psalm 7 and 11. It says, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. Who's the wicked? See that the wicked is Esau. Some of the wicked is Esau. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He had bent his bow and made it ready. Was his sword on the bow? The missiles, right? These ICBMs. No. You have the US stepping into the game. Russia was first. Which Russia in the scripture says Gog and Magog. Right? They're gonna be guard to all the other nations that are gonna stand up with, with their arms against America and shoot missiles on America, certain parts of Israel and Europe. Right? He had also prepared um, Psalm 7 and 13. For him the instruments of death, he ordained his arrows against the persecutors. So Yahabash Shai, what? He ordained the arrows, the missiles against the persecutors. We saw in Edom, they were the ones who are who are what persecuted the nation of Israel. Yahabash Shai, he ain't playing in these last days, right? He ain't playing in these last days. He's gonna what make us a, a, a speedy riddance of you damn devils through your own invention. Ooh, right through your own invention okay you have a in ain't gonna play this is jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 14 it says put yourselves in array against babylon wrong about all you that bend the bow shoot at her spare no arrows for she had sinned against the lord shout against her wrong about she had given her hand her foundations are falling her walls are thrown down for it is the vengeance of the lord take vengeance upon her as she had done do unto her so it's a time of what recompense and vengeance all right this is what we see here yeah, abashim and shai speaking up them prophecies i mean some beautiful times hey it's about to go down right it's about to go down this war of amokedon more road trees on the on, on the edge it's on, it's on our seats waiting right we have a couple more proof, um, prophecies the rfid microchip Right to be to be initiated. Right, we see the brain chip. Right, the new link. We see all these things happening, and 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 simultaneously with this, it's beautiful times. Right, so with that I will just close out real quick with this last precept, Jeremiah fifty and twenty nine. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it, wrong about. Let none thereof escape. You see, Japan may create hypersonic weapons control unit by twenty twenty six. You see, so it's happening. It says, recompense her according to her work, which is what abomination to all that she had done do unto her, for she had been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. You see, she had been proud. She gone against all her ways, all the ways of Yahweh Shimei Hashem, and establish her own ways and say that he, that they are God. I say Yahweh Shimei Hashem is gonna what burn them up, right? You see in it. It's unfolding. The Bible is alive. These prophecies are real. Right? We in them times. Right? So, hey. Repent. All the Asherala. Repent. Right? And make yourself ready to meet your husband. With that, Shalom.